Hello friends, today we are studying the fourth chapter of business economics which is called markets. There are three units in this chapter. The first is meaning and types of markets. The second is price and output determination under different markets. And third is equilibrium price and quantity. We will begin with the first unit or the first topic of the chapter which is called meaning and types of markets. These are the five points to be covered in the first topic. The first is meaning of market. Second is concepts of total revenue, average revenue and marginal revenue. The third point is characteristics of perfect competition, monopoly and monopolistic competition. The fourth is the nature of average revenue and marginal revenue under perfect and imperfect competition. And the fifth is the relationship between average revenue, marginal revenue and price elasticity of demand. This is the meaning of market. Market is where the buyers and sellers come in each other's contact and determine the price of the product. So market is a mechanism, market is a system where the two parties, buyers and sellers come in each other's contact and then they decide the price of the product on which the transaction takes place. Next is the three concepts of revenues that is total revenue, average revenue and marginal revenue. What do we mean by total revenue of the firm? Total revenue basically means the total income of the firm which is always equal to price multiplied by quantity. So you can see the first formula if you multiply price and quantity you will get the total revenue. Suppose the firm sells 100 units so quantity sold is 100 and per unit price is 10 rupees so 10 into 100 1000 rupees is the total revenue earned by the firm. The second concept is average revenue. Average revenue means the per unit revenue of the firm which is always equal to total revenue upon quantity. So TR upon Q is the formula for average revenue. Now total revenue is equal to price multiplied by quantity. So in the formula of average revenue TR upon Q we substitute total revenue by P into Q. So it becomes P into Q upon Q. If Q and Q will get cancelled from numerator and denominator what will be left is the price. So in any market average revenue is always equal to the price of the product. And finally you have the concept of marginal revenue. 